Hello and welcome to the Library of Babel, a Thief 2 fan mission by Haplo. Now, uh, it doesn't have a briefing, well, this, it kind of does have a, it has an intro video, not a briefing video. Uh, it doesn't really have much briefing text. Um, Haplo describes it as taking place during the events of another mission they made, A Sorrowful Farewell, which I haven't played yet, but it also says that it's um, more of an intermission than a mission, so I'm hoping that having not played the rest of that campaign, and I think there's like three or four missions before this in the campaign, uh, hoping that uh, me not having played them isn't going to impair the experience of this intermission. And uh, but honestly, I should check out that campaign. I just wanted to try the Library of Babel without having to play from the four missions first. Um, and uh, this takes inspiration from uh, the short story by uh, Orcus, uh, The Library of Babel, which, uh, not entirely coincidentally, I just reread today. Anyway, let's see what we've got going on here. Difficulty choices are pretty uh, straightforward. Let's enter the Library of Babel. I guess that was the ending of, or some part of, uh, the uh, Sorrowful Farewell, uh, the mission I mentioned. Find out where you are. Oh, I'm, I'm here. Hello, Garrett. Balvar said you would visit. Welcome to the Library of Babel. My name is Borkis. I am one of the librarians. You are now in what we call the lobby. The entrance to the main library is upstairs. I have left you many notes around to help you understand this place better. Objectives. Read all the notes Borkis has left for you to learn more about this place and get out of here. I have no equipment at all. I don't even think I'm supposed to be uh, sneaking. You polite and close the door behind me. As I said, you are in the lobby now, where a small collection of books are kept. The main library, accessible from upstairs, is made of an enormous expanse of adjacent hexagonal rooms, each housing eight bookcases. In the middle of each room there is the opening into nothingness which we call the Void. As we die, our bodies are cast into the Void and new librarians take our place. The library is a sphere whose exact centre is any one of its hexagons and whose circumference is inaccessible. The order and content of the books are random and apparently completely meaningless. But it is certain that the books contain every possible ordering of just a few basic characters, letters, numbers, spaces, and punctuation marks. In the vast library, there are no two identical books. Guess that's the way upstairs. Can I read any of the books? And you got a lot of books. I don't know, these ones all look pretty identical to me. I guess maybe the pages, you know, the writing is different. Oh, it's locked. There isn't a key here, is there? It's a candle. Oh. When, uh... Oh, here's closes. Locks a door? It opens another door. You seem somewhat incorporeal, but not physically, just visually. 
There's a rat. I like these columns, they're very neat. So I'll do the one, two cubes, and slightly larger versions of the other top and bottom. Uh, they are very neat. It is possible that we librarians may have been horribly mistaken about the nature of some of the books of nonsense. Some of these are assuredly copies of other books written in code, or phonetically, or even in unknown languages. Hidden in the meaninglessness of the library, there are works beyond human capacity to write. Even if the majority of the books appear to be meaningless, for many of them, some language could be devised that would make them readable with any of a vast number of different contents. After all, we are the ones who create the rules of the universe, aren't we? I came in. Although the majority of the books are nonsense, the library also contains every coherent book ever, or might ever be, written. Moreover, it houses every possible permutation or slightly erroneous version of every one of those coherent books. There is no personal or world problem whose eloquent solution does not exist in some hexagon. Just think about it. This library contains all useful information, including predictions of the future, biographies of any person, and translations of every book in all languages. It also contains a devilish fountain, rusted and stuck. Um, can you help me? No, I guess you can't. the candle again? I can't. Isn't anything in the water, is there? Nope. So I can't get in there yet. Possibly the passage with the rat will help me get that again. This door will not open. Oh, there's another door here. Since all books exist in the library, somewhere one of the books must be a perfect index of the library's content. However, for the exact same reason, there are also certainly books of lies and falsehoods. This has interesting implications. For this perfect index, there will be many copies of false indices, claiming some false books to be true, and some true books to be false. Australian bolts, very nice. I have a choice of doors. Well, look, you still got room for some more books here. I guess this is the. It's not the library proper, proper after all. I guess I didn't. Shouldn't have expected much coming up here. I did not expect that to kill me. Because he just walked through it. 
Uh, and I have not been quick saving because it didn't seem to be a reason. So uh, let's go through and read these books again that we read before. Right, and then this door opens. This was the way to the rat, was it not? So there's another book up here. And the fountain. And this is the room with the this is the room with the rat. And there's another door here. With the last book that I've the most recent book that I've read. Right. Was there another book to read in here? There was that. Right, there is, but only after it goes through there. Alright. Let's not walk through that this time. Warning. Things that look like deadly lasers might be deadly lasers, even in. Like, I didn't think there would exist deadly lasers in this area, but apparently I'm wrong. Because of this massive amount of information, this place could be completely useless to the reader. Some argue that as a source of information, a library containing all possible books arranged at random is equivalent to a library containing zero books. This notion has left many librarians in a state of suicidal despair, leading some to superstitions and cult-like behaviour. The members of one of these cults have based their belief on the fact that there exists a librarian known as the Man of the Book, who has found and read the perfect index I told you about, and they travel through the galleries seeking him. Another sect suggested that the searches should cease and that all men should juggle letters and symbols until they constructed, by an improbable gift of chance, this perfect index. I mean, it does seem like you would have as much chance of, uh, Finding it? Oh, a lamp. Okay. As much chance of finding the perfect index that way than by as by uh, drawing the holes, right? Exactly equivalent? Or perhaps not. I haven't done the maths. There's another door that's burnt through. I'm going to say burnt through because of the laser, not because uh, I necessarily think it's burnt rather than destroyed in some other fashion, but... Wait, there seems to be evidence. Hello? A sponge? Well, I could use that in the sink if I need, if I need water somewhere, but... I'm starting to collect. Is that the void? Or is that just the night sky? Oh, I've been down there. I didn't look up. I'm starting to collect uh, an inventory of... Uh, Adventure game puzzle items. Do you realize, Garrett, that somewhere within these rooms there is at least one book that contains this text you are reading now? I mean, this one, maybe? Or there is a book that tells the story of your life, all that has been, and all that will be. If you ever find it, feel free to read it. That's the laser room through there. I don't have a use for oil lamp yet, do I? I mean, you don't want a sponge, do you? Doesn't make sense that you would. I mean, I don't know what I would use a sponge for. I mean, oil. My hands are all oily now, okay. What is that in there? A small rock. My hands are all oily, can I not wash them? I guess I would need soap. Just plain water isn't going to work. What use do I have for a small rock? Um. I 
mean, I could throw it at, at the rat, but that seems unnecessarily harsh. The rat's not doing me any harm. Can I redirect the laser by throwing the small rock at the mask, perhaps? Um, not like that. Not if I miss it. No, it just bounces off. I mean, I suppose I could try crouching under it. Can I? Seems difficult. No, I cannot. I'm gonna climb over it. I mean, that would seem to want another mask down, right? Then can I clog up the thing? Can I... Oh, I cannot. Somewhere there is a book that tells me exactly what I need to do with these items. But... The problem is finding that book in all these... Innumerable, well, almost innumerable... Books. Because in the Library of Babel, the, uh... The number was, you know, it was a finite number of books. It was a finite alphabet, a finite number of pages in each. Oh, there's nothing else in here I said that I need. Just a sponge. I mean, I, don't, I assume I need the sponge. I don't know what I would need it for. I could throw the rock into the void. Oh. It bounces off the void, okay. Light the oil lamp? Nope, apparently not. Can't even douse a candle with a sponge. It's the most useless sponge that I've ever expunged. I mean, I can't expunge it. it won't go, I can't drop it. <laughs> it refuses to become an ex sponge. Sorry, my friend. Although, I guess it wants me to use something on it, not throw something at it, I think. And also, my aim is terrible. No, it just goes right through. Good rat. If you just to be killed by rock. I would too, if I were you. Throwing the rock in there isn't going to do me any good. I'm going to throw the rock back in here. Oh, it just sits on top now. Oh. Unusual. This has properties I did not expect from a rock. There is, of course, this door that was locked. Can I... I mean, this rock doesn't weigh enough to break the door down, right? So, it's throwing... I mean, maybe someone thinks I'm knocking. I feel like I've already used everything 
on every other thing and can't find any other things to use them. Why does this door close itself? There. No, how dare you? That should do it. No. It stopped it before, but it refuses to stop it now. Maybe that will do it. Maybe that's far enough away. Huh. I mean, I can. Maybe it stopped on me and not on the rock. I guess that's, that's, that's a reasonable hypothesis, right? Because it will stop when it hits me. Then it tries to close itself again. Honestly, those hinges are really... need oiling too, right? I mean, maybe all the doors close themselves and I've just not noticed. So, um... There's that you get stuck on if you're walking some of the time. So I haven't found anything I can do out here. Did I find was there anything in this room? I mean there's a book. Was there anything in this room that I could do? Doesn't seem to be. So the only thing I have kind of availed to me that I've not found any way to deal with is, well there's a rat of course, I don't know what to do with a rat, but I feel like the rat probably wants some food. Where is this? Is this a new... No, this is not a new room, there's nothing here. Oh, this is where I get the oil lamp. Get lamp. Now I'm not going to be at risk of being eaten by a Gru. Which is good. You can still be killed by a laser though. How do I deal with the laser? Can I knock the mask off? On this side. I mean, you think I could just push it over. Now I've lost the rock. So let's not do that. What? Well, you know what? I'm gonna go look this up because this is inscrutable. Much as I hate to do it, I will, so. Well, apparently I missed something in one of the other rooms that, uh. Well, it's hard to say what is, um useful and what isn't. I mean, there's obviously lots of books. Anything that's not a book, you know, has the potential to be useful, I suppose. See, not all of those close themselves. These ones are staying open. That's still a locked door. See, not everything that's not a book is interactive. Wait, this is just one going back, going back again. Um, I mean, it's supposed to be back in those rooms, but... Keep going through every room, I guess. Oil lamp room is not it. Unless, because I've just basically been ignoring bookshelves because they have books, right? And nothing else. 
Um, I guess it's possible that one of them has something else on it, which I guess I'll look at when I go down uh, again. Let's not walk through him, or try to walk through him, that would be impolite. I also don't know if it would be successful. It doesn't look like there's anything on these shelves, right? These librarians are not taking very good care of their books. Again, I, I got the hint of what it, what I need and a vague direction of it being in these first rooms that you come to, but this is the first rooms, right? That door was closed and unopened. Well, this was the first set of rooms. That's the locked door, which for which I do not have a key. If there's another thing in here that I need that has been hiding, he's doing an extremely good job of the hiding. Oh yeah, this is the room I hadn't looked at before. Okay, so I was looking for one item, um, but apparently I can't get to it yet, although the suggestion seemed to be that I could. But the hints the hints people are giving are not very clear. Right. There's a different item I need to be looking at, or uh, that's what I need to be seeing. I need to be looking up in a corner where there's no reason to look up. To find a piece of cheese stuck in a spiderweb, because of course there is. Right. The rock is down. We have the cheese. How did this get up there? That is a very good question. No, we can't open the door with the cheese. We can. Give the cheese to the rat. Burns up his little rat ramp. Goodbye, rat friend. Oh, hello, rat friend. Thank you. I needed that. Good rat. Okay. So now I believe I can access the other item that I was supposed to be looking for. What? Okay, no. I have a key and no lock. That's the only lock that I found. What the hell? Is there a locked door in a spider web somewhere that I need to be finding? You know. Why doesn't the key work on the door? doesn't open the rat either. Rat key, but it's not a rat key in that sense. 
No, that bit wouldn't open the rat, that would be quite gross. But there isn't another locked door that I found, right? This is a dead end. So what the hell do I do with the key that doesn't work? Oh, well, this is going to be, unfortunately, an extremely frustrating mission because I'm going to have to either spend a ton of time scouring, you know, every corner of the map for things. And I mean literally every corner because as that spy web indicated, there's no reason to suspect there won't be hiding things where you would never look for them. <sighs> Pixel hunting equivalent. No. I mean, there isn't like a locked door at rat height <laughs> that I should be accessing, is there? I'm going to regret playing this mission because of all the pain it's going to be just a, I mean, it's not that much pain but it's just a lot of unnecessary tedium to go and edit together all the parts where I had to stop and look things up. I do not like stopping to look things up in missions. I like missions that provide a little more direction then, oh, look, go through these rooms and look at everything, except all the stuff that's obviously nothing, except I wouldn't be surprised if now one of the bookshelves somewhere is actually something. It's like one locks a door, one key, and they do not match. What the hell? I don't know what I'm looking for, but apparently the rat's key is used upstairs. Now if I can remember where the stairs are, not this way. Not this way. No, it must be this way. Ah, through here. I wish the doors wouldn't keep closing themselves, because it's just getting annoying to have to find them. Right. So. Here we go. Running up the stairs, and I got stuck. One unit high, people. Do not do it. Okay, so where is a door that's upstairs that a rat key would be useful for? I mean, that's a ridiculous question, but... I don't have any other questions that are more sensible that I can ask, so... I'll go with the ridiculous one. Hiding behind another door. So. Why is that try closing on me immediately? That's rude. Through to just push it past him like that. Well, I seem to have been around all the upstairs that I have available to me right now and not found where the racket. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to open this up and drum it actually. Because this is ridiculous. There's nothing up here, is there? I mean, there's a ladder. They came up here before. There was nothing up here. You'd think maybe they'd put the spider web up, you know, up here so you could see it. So you'd be more likely to notice it. You know, put, put things together so you can see the clues directing you to the pieces of the, of the puzzle that you need. But, nope. It's just... A random assortment of items. I mean, you know, 
was it this book that you know um people travel through the galleries seeking the man of the book i'm traveling through the galleries seeking a door for a key which to be honest has a similar probability of being found it would seem Somewhere there is a book that is describing how I am searching, how I've walked past the door I need 372 times now. And when I walk past it again, the number in the book will change. Or the note, the number in the, that book won't change. Then there is another book, nowhere near it on the shelves, that will say, I walked past the door I've looked for. 373 times. And then there's another one that says, I found the door I was looking for before I even knew that I was looking for it. Unfortunately, in this existence, that last book is false. And in this existence, I'm going to sit here, <laughs> stare into the void, contemplate the void. And, um, load this up in Drummond to find where the door I'm missing is. Or, or, as far as I can see, the, the, the thread didn't have a clue. It didn't have a, enough hints. There's a short thread. Um, so. I guess the other question. Okay, before I use Drummond, there might be a walkthrough. I'll see if I can find a walkthrough. Okay. I have health apparently, I don't have a health bar, but I, I take damage. Well, let's maybe not do that again. So... That is the pixel I was not seeing. That's the pixel hunting I needed to do. You have to actually walk quite close to it even before it lights up. Key from wall. There was a text walkthrough. And that opens this. Alright. Deep breath. Take a sip of tea. Calm down. Get out of your frustration at... Uh, Awkward puzzle design. And let's keep reading these books. Can I take the quill? Can I take the ink? No. Within this sea of nonsense, the most intelligible volumes I have seen in my lifetime have been entitled The Combed Thunderclap, The Plaster Crown, and Axe 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 Smlow. These phrases at first glance incoherent can no doubt be justified in a cryptographical or allegorical manner. Many numbers of possible languages use the same vocabulary. In some of them, the symbol library allows the correct definition, a ubiquitous and lasting system of hexagonal galleries. But library can mean bread, or pyramid, or anything else in other languages. And these seven letters which define it can have another value. Garrett, are you sure of understanding my language? What is this? Glue. Too sticky to put in my pocket. Okay. Mirror. It's too dirty to be of any use. Well, maybe I can clean it with a sponge. Much better. Nice and clean. Mirror. Would allow me to see what I look like. But I'm not interested in that. It may also allow me to reflect a laser somewhere less dangerous. This is the laser, don't we? Yeah. Save. What? Oh, hello. Sorry for exploding your mask. That turns the laser off entirely, which is... Oh, the laser was coming from the mask. Was it? 
I guess one, yeah, it was one, one of them was burning a hole in the wall there and one was burning a hole down there. Okay. I must have burnt this door, I guess. This is the entrance to the library. The place I have been telling you about. This is where you can access every possible book. You don't need to enter it in order to fulfill your quest. But feel free to have a look. Just don't try to visit all the galleries. When you are finished, press the glyph by the doors. Well, we've got to enter, right? Surely. Can I read any of the books? the void. Let's be di risky here. <laughs> oh, there's... Things falling in the void? Certainly goes up a long way. I should try it, shouldn't I? Too high. Maybe I can land on the bookshelf. I guess not. I always go to the right. Why shouldn't I go to the left? Hello? That's just a book that's fallen off its shelf. Okay. Well. It does seem like I am not going to get any value out of this library. As I said. They warned me. A book. A library with every possible book. In no order. Is exactly as valuable as a source of information as a library with no books at all so when I said to get back to see the glyph by the doors I'm not seeing a glyph oh there we are alright Another locked door. Does the rat key open this one? Nope. I don't have my other key anymore, right? Oh, key from the wall. I do have the key from the wall. Is that going to open it? No. There must be another key. I mean... Oh, that's downstairs. Okay, that seems important. Aha! Rat key... Brings us here. Hello. Some of me throwing out but notes and they're not important. Another cult is the purifiers, who invade the hexagons and arbitrarily destroy books they deem nonsense by casting them into the void. However, they neglect two notable facts. One, the library is so enormous that any reduction of human origin is infinitesimal. The other, they fail to realize that the library cannot be damaged by the destruction of any of its books. Because even though a single book is unique and irreplaceable, there are many, many similar books differing only by a single letter or a single punctuation mark. A walking cane. Oh, this is this is our friend the rat's place. 
but uh, it's not much use to me. Going there without um, with those boards in the way. And this brings me back near the start. Okay. We have, oh, hello. Key down here. It's too far, I can't reach it. Can I use a stick? No, it doesn't work. What if... What if I could remember where that glue was and get some glue on the stick? That was a locked door. Was it through here? No. It must have been through here. Oh no, it must have been. It was past the laser, wasn't it? It was past the laser. The glue was past the laser. No, the glue was downstairs. Near the mirror. Oh, I don't remember anymore. The glue is not here. You'd think these people could make their. I mean, this is only the lobby. This isn't even the a library proper. You'd think they could make it a little more navigable, a little more, a little less confusing. That they could, I don't know, put signposts saying "glue this way," or have one room here that's just stocked with nothing but glue. Um. I could have sworn it was past the laser, but it doesn't seem to be. And yet... Oh, here we are. Right, we had the mirror, we had the glue. It was past this locked door. Sticky cane, okay. Now... Where was that door that opened that gave us a shortcut? Was in here? This one. There we are, key from the drain. So hopefully that will open the other locked door up here. This one. Excuse me. Indeed. It's just a storeroom. Oh. Stores is access. Ah, it's the room we saw through the door there. Nothing down there, but there is another passageway. It does not feel like I'm in the lobby anymore, Kojo. It's more like an attic. Here's another cobweb, but no cheese this time. It's a shame, because I'm getting peckish. Oh, the lobby. Also looks out onto the void. Alright. Like all men of the library, I have travelled in my youth. I have wandered in search of a book, perhaps the catalogue of catalogues. Now that my eyes can hardly decipher what I write, I am preparing to die just a few leagues from the hexagon in which I was born. Once I am dead, there will be no lack of pierced hands to throw me over the railing. My grave will be the fathomless air. My body will sink endlessly and decay and dissolve in the winds generated by the fall, which is infinite. It seems you are ready to leave, Garrett. Before you go, let me tell you this. The library is indeed infinite. There are many who argue that the combination of all the letters is a finite value. But they forget that only the possible number of books does have such a limit. The library is unlimited and cyclical. If an eternal traveller were to cross it in any direction, after centuries he would see that the same volumes were repeated in the same disorder. My solitude is gladdened by this elegant hope. This is your exit point, Garrett. You can leave after you have read all my notes. You still have much to fulfil back in your own world. Farewell.
So don't climb out there, I walk into this, I suppose. See, I thought I was going to have to do some creative mantling to the void. Now return to somewhere new that I shall discover in another mission sometime. That was the Library of Bubble. Stats are going to be as meaningless as the books that I read there. Or at least not the books that I read, but the books I didn't read. How much taken three? <laughs> That's not all zero. I managed to make a stat not be zero. So, thanks very much for watching. And uh, I hope you'll join me here next time for the next mission. Whatever that turns out to be.